this demo, I want to talk a little bit about what we need to do now that we've got all of this information, all these different layers going on, and how to start to organize them so that we are seeing the views we want to see when we're in paper space and on our sheets, and how we can manage those layers in a way that we don't have to keep freezing and thawing when we plot and to kind of keep the drawings organized. So I know many of you have already created the title block and sheet for the floor plans, but I'm going to start with that for those who haven't done that yet, and it's uh, good to review it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this 24 by 36 inch layout that we imported from the title block drawing earlier in the class. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go to move or copy. I'm going to say move to end, create copy, click OK. So now I've made a copy of it. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to right click on the tab for the copy, rename, and I'm going to call this A1. You can name it whatever is going to make sense to you but this is going to be for the floor plans. So I, now I need to put a viewport on this title block so that I can see the plans and to create a scaled view. I want to make sure I'm on my viewport layer. I'm going to type in MV, oops, back into the drawing here, type in MV at the command prompt, and then I'm going to draw in my rectangle. And now you can see it's showing me the drawing, but it's not necessarily to scale yet. So I'm going to click on the viewport outline, go into properties, and if you don't have properties open, just right click and select it down. It's a little bit off the screen, but it's down towards the bottom. Go into properties and scroll down into this miscellaneous section. Now the annotation scale is already set correctly at one quarter of an inch equals a foot, and that's because that's what I have it set to right now in model space. The standard scale is what's going to control the size of the drawing. So I'm going to set that to one quarter of an inch as well. Let me scroll down and find it. And then I'm going to hit escape. And I need to just adjust the size of my viewport a little bit. And I may have to pan just a little bit. I'm going to double click in here and pan so that I can move my drawing around just a little. And that looks pretty good. So now I have a um, scaled view of my plans, but you can see that it's showing me my furniture information with the tags. I've also got some power information on there. So what I want to do is I want to tell AutoCAD what layers I want it to show for this particular viewport. And to do that, I can just double click on the outline of the viewport and it's going to open into a view that looks like model space, but we're really just looking inside the viewport. And once we're in here, we can go into the layers, and we are going to look for the column that says VP freeze. And this column, if I freeze something here, it's going to freeze it, but only for that viewport, which is really handy. So let me scroll up here. So this is my um, floor plan, so I want to uh, freeze my furniture information. I'm going to freeze the note layer, I'm going to freeze the title layer, and then I'm going to scroll down here. I want to freeze my A fern layer, and then I've got, like I said, I've got a little power information, so I'm going to freeze that as well. So let's close it and see how it's looking. I think that's looking pretty good. So it's just got the dimensions, um, showing walls and doors, oh, we got something here that's not on the right layer. So now if I want to get back out of um, this view and go back into paper space, I am going to just double click on this light blue border around here. And you can see now that it's created this view that has only the information I want to see for this view. I've got the you know, window and door tags, I've got dimensions, walls and doors, but I'm not seeing any of the furniture information. And let me just erase this drawing label here. So now let's take a look back into model space and see what's happened there. You can see there's no change here. All of my layers are still um, visible. They uh, haven't been frozen. It hasn't changed at all. It's only changed in this one view. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create a uh, sheet for our furniture plan. 
Now to do that, what I'm going to do is just copy this uh, view, or this sheet. And so I'm right clicking on the A1. I'm going to go to move or copy. Again, I'm going to go move to end and create a copy and click OK. And then what I want to do is I'm going to right click and rename and I'm going to rename this one A3 because that's going to be my furniture plan. So I'm going to go to now to this tab and you're going to see it's going to look exactly like the floor plan at this point. Um, so we need to make some modifications so that we are only seeing the furniture information this time. But the handy part about just copying that one is it's already set to scale. It's already kind of the right size for the plans. We may have to scoot it around a little bit, but um, it at least gives us a place to start. So now again, we want to adjust which layers are shown in this viewport. So I'm going to double click on my viewport again. And again, I'm in this, this view here. I'm going to open my layers. And this time I'm going to first thaw my furniture layers. power frozen. And then what I want to do is I want to freeze my dimension layer and I'm going to freeze my note layer. And then close that and then once I'm done making those changes I can double click on this blue border and now you can see that I've got a plan that is showing you know walls and doors and, and all of that that I want to see. It's showing the furniture, it's showing the furniture tags. Now let's go back to our A1 sheet and see it hasn't changed that at all. Um, so this is viewport specific. So this is a really great tool to understand how to use so that you don't have to keep trying to freeze and thaw things to try to get the plot that you want. Because you know, no matter how careful you, you are, you're always going to miss something. And plus, it's kind of a waste of time to just keep doing that. You want to be able to set it up and then be done with it. Now the only trick with this is if you add a new layer to your drawing, you may have to go back in and freeze that layer in your viewports. But um, overall, it gives you a really good control over what the views show. Now I do want to mention one thing that I've done. I'm going to go in the model here. What I like to do, and this is my own personal preference, but I, I think it works pretty well, is I create a set of room tags for each of my plans. So you can see I've got one that's on the A note fern, A anno note fern layer. I've also got one that's on the A anno note layer. That allows me to move the tags based on where they fit best for that particular plan. Um, you want to try to not overlap information and so you want to sometimes be able to move those tags around and that's why I create that copy. I also have a drawing title and you can use the drawing title that's that's given on the title block. I just prefer to have mine in model space. So again, I created a layer that's the A anno title fern layer and I also have one that's just the A anno floor if I can select that one, A anno title layer. And again, you may end up creating additional layers for the different plans depending on what you need and you just want to fo try to follow that naming convention. So anyway, that should at least give you a good idea of how to create the different sheets and how to work with the layers within the viewports.